RFK Jr. says he's aware of possibility CIA could assassinate him. Democratic presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. said that he has to be careful in the midst of his 2024 campaign, seemingly making note of the deaths of his uncle and father. In light of the assassination deaths of Senator Robert F. Kennedy and President John F. Kennedy in the 1960s, podcast host Joe Rogan asked the younger Kennedy about what he might do if he were elected president. As a longtime proponent of the theory that the CIA killed former President Kennedy, he responded by saying, I gotta be careful. I'm aware of that, you know, I'm aware of that danger. I don't live in fear of it at all. But I'm not stupid about it and I take precautions, he said. JFK, he added, often spoke of being at war with the military-industrial complex, a term that was popularized by former President Dwight Eisenhower in 1961 when he warned about what he described as collusion between defense companies and the federal government. RFK Jr. also said that intelligence agencies in the early 1960s were trying to trick JFK into launching military excursions in Vietnam and Cuba. That came before his uncle proclaimed he must splinter the CIA into thousands of pieces and scatter it into the winds after the Bay of Pigs incident. Former President Kennedy learned very early on that the purpose of the CIA and the intelligence apparatus was to create a constant pipeline of new wars for them, for the military-industrial complex, he told Rogan. The younger Kennedy announced his presidential campaign in April, and has garnered modest support among some Democrat voters. However, a recent Harris X poll shows that he's behind President Joe Biden by about 40 percentage points. Reports have indicated that Kennedy, however, could win New Hampshire's Democrat primary after the Democratic National Committee named South Carolina the first primary state. It's because Biden's name likely won't appear on the state's primary ballot, leaving Kennedy, and self-help author Marianne Williamson to VY for the state's nomination. In the 2020 contest, Biden famously finished fifth in New Hampshire. He took first place in South Carolina after a key endorsement from Rep. Jim Clyburn, a member of the House Democrat leadership. If Biden doesn't compete in New Hampshire, he could lose out on valuable momentum and attention, wrote State Rep. Keith Ammon earlier this month. Not campaigning in New Hampshire could make it more difficult for him to win the nomination. Other claims Earlier this year, Kennedy drew headlines when he again publicly claimed that he believes the CIA killed his uncle. The Warren Commission report however released more than 50 years ago concluded that Lee Harvey Oswald was the lone gunman in the 1963 Kennedy assassination. On May 8, Kennedy wrote on Twitter that Biden should release all government records in connection to the assassination, claiming that the White House is still keeping thousands of pages heavily redacted, including 44 pages related to a shadowy CIA agent and a covert program that had contact with Lee Harvey Oswald just months before my uncle was killed. Nobody should be surprised when Americans are distrustful of a government that refuses to reveal 60-year-old secrets. The American people are entitled to see every document as the law requires, he wrote, adding that he believes the majority of people working at the CIA are good, patriotic people committed to their missions and the law. My own daughter-in-law was a field agent, and she is among the bravest people I have known, Kennedy continued. The Epoch Times contacted the CIA for comment on Friday. A previous Epoch Times request for comment was not returned by the CIA in connection to questions raised by Kennedy's claims about his uncle's assassination. Kennedy also generated some controversy during a Twitter Spaces event in which he claimed that the Chinese Communist Party doesn't pose a military threat to the United States, calling for Washington to instead engage with the regime. The Chinese cannot and do not want to compete with us militarily, Kennedy asserted earlier this month. So it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy that says, oh, the Chinese want to be our enemy and have a military competition, they don't. What we should be doing is de-escalating military pressure on China. But John Mills, a retired army colonel, said that some of Kennedy's comments are dangerously naive about the nature of the CCP. 
I'm a little puzzled by his comments, he told the Epic Times. He has strong opinions on the virus and the vaccine. Well, where does he think the virus came from? It's kind of incongruent. 